Hello, I'm going to show you how to replace the factory radio in a 4th gen Subaru Impreza of the year 2012 and up. First you have to pry open the dash's center console. To do that, use a plastic tool. You can also use a flathead screwdriver with some tape on the tip. Just be sure uh, to uh, be careful not to damage the plastic. Go to the driver's side under the steering wheel to remove the air vent selector cable. Over the gas pedal, you will notice a white cable connecting to a plastic selector. Remove the steel cable from the plastic selector wheel by pushing on the plastic retainer clip while pulling on the steel ring. Now pull the plastic cable sleeve out of the steel retainer to free the cable. Remove the glove box on the passenger side by pulling the strut away from the box. Push in the glove box aside to allow the plastic tabs to come out. Find the black temperature cable on the left side and remove it the same way as the air vent cable. You can pull the center console from the bottom, but there will still be some electric cables to disconnect. Disconnect the emergency flashers cable on the top. You can also disconnect the fan speed wires at the bottom but you should have enough space to access the radio without removing the console completely. You can rotate the center console down to remove the radio and unscrew the four screws retaining the radio and remove the radio. Disconnect the radio's factory cables. You can test fit your new wiring harness, but you should first disconnect the car's battery to keep the unprotected wires from making a short circuit. Push your new radio in, screw it in place by reusing the factory bracket, and place your plastic faceplate to fill the gap in the center console. Now you can reconnect the console's electrical connections and push it back in its original place. Go to the driver's side, clip back the vent cable and clip back the steel ring in the plastic control wheel. Go to the passenger side, clip back the temperature cable 
and clip back the steer ring in the plastic control wheel. Push the bottom of the glove box in its rail and close the glove box. The side tabs should get back in place. Push the strut back in its original place. And that's all there is to it. Go see the details in the description, thumbs up if the video helped you and leave a comment if you need more details. Thanks for watching!